Hey guys, today we'll be learning how to solve magnification problems. As an x-ray beam diverges, the image produced on film is always slightly larger than the original image. This is magnification. Historically, magnification applied to film adjustments and physical blocks. Say, on a port film, the rad onc realizes that 2cm more of the spinal cord needs to be blocked. How do we adjust the blocking to accurately reflect the shift on the film? In modern therapy, things have changed. In clinic today, magnification can apply to electron setups. For example, you want to treat a tumor to a certain field size at 100 cm SSD, but for clearance, you need to change the setup to an extended 110 SSD. How do you have to adjust the cutout to yield the same field size? All magnification problems can be approached the same way regardless of clinical purpose. Let's try an example. Reviewing a film taken at a target to film distance of 140 cm, the doctor wants a block position correction of 1.5 cm on the film. The patient's at 100 cm SSD and the block is 70 cm from the target. Find the distance the block must be shifted to obtain the required correction. I always recommend drawing a picture. The source of film distance is 140 cm. The film correction is 1.5 cm. The patient's at 100 cm SSD, and the source to blocking tray distance is 70 cm. We want the distance the block should be shifted to reflect that shift on film. Using simple geometry, you can set up a ratio to find your answer. The law of similar triangles applies here. This side is proportional to this side, and this side is proportional to this side. You can set up a ratio. Write out your proportion. Solving it out, you get 0.75 cm for your answer. Another type of question you may encounter is a mag factor question. Mag factor is image size over object size. Let's try another example. If a radiograph is taken at 100 cm SSD and a 2.5 cm ring placed on skin measures 3.25 cm on film, what's the mag factor? Again, mag factor is image size over object size. So in this case, 3.25 divided by 2.5. Now stop and think about whether the answer makes sense. It does in this case. The magnification factor should always be greater than one because it's a measure of how much larger something appears compared to the actual size. And that's how you approach magnification problems. Check out DoseGrid for more examples. Links are down below.